What is going on YouTube fam? Welcome back to The Organized Millennial. I'm Anna and today we are finally closing out October, you guys. Listen, if I don't close out October today, we're never gonna close it out. So I was like, let me just sit down and do this because your girl's already all the way in the midst of November. Got holiday budgeting to do, got paycheck one to do, need to go ahead and close out October. So let's go ahead and do that. If you guys are into budgeting, planning, and life, don't forget to hit that beautiful subscribe button down below and tap the bell so you can be notified every time your girl uploads new content. Y'all know how October looked. It was spendy. It was an expensive month. We didn't have a ton of no spends, but it's time to really see how it went based off closing out our budget and seeing how those actuals came in. So let's get started with the October monthly budget. I'm actually going to leave the weekly check-in open like this so that I can refer to it for my for some of my actuals for the cash and saving side. So let's get started. So my mortgage actual is $1,372.51. That's exactly the actual. Really no difference in condo fee. That's exactly what my condo fee is. My electric bill was $81.58. Natural gas, how much did that end up being? I think it was like 30 bucks. Yes, it was 30 72 I'm like, what was that? So my natural gas was actually a little higher than expected. It was $30.72, which makes sense because we had some cold nights in October. And then my cell phone bill was $66.60. My car loan's always the same. 300 and then my Apple Music is $12.98. So I'm gonna go ahead and total that up. Okay, so my total was $2,189.39, so it was a little higher than the budgeted amount. Now let's go over to groceries and cash, or I'm sorry, I said groceries and cash. Now let's go over to cash and savings. So how much did I spend in groceries in October? Let's see, so in week one, I spent 93.34. In week two, I spent 46.36. And I spent 151.72. And finally, 48.62. So I spent a grand total of $340.04 in groceries for the month of October, you guys. That means we're not over budget in groceries. Hey, 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 hey. I'm doing a dance even though you guys can't see it because like being under budget in groceries is like unheard of. <laughs> I feel like it's unheard of for many of us, but it's definitely unheard of for me. So I'm very excited about that. Okay, so gas, let's see, how much did I spend in gas? Did I spend anything in gas? Uh, I thought I did. Oh, I included my gas expense in, in my travel fund. So we're gonna get into sinking funds in a second, but yeah, so actually I didn't spend anything. So all 50 are just chilling there, basically. Okay, for beauty, um, let's see. For beauty, I spent 25, plus 20, plus 15, $60 total in beauty, which is pretty darn good. So, wait, yeah, that's how much I spent, yes. I was like, wait. Um, okay, and then spending. Oh, spending. Okay, spend, I always do this where I put 150 for spending because I'm only accounting for paycheck one, but I do stuff that one twice. So it's actually supposed to be 300 um, for that. <clears throat> so spending, oh, I was already over budget, I know. 206.36 plus... 101.07, oh you guys, 
and I think that's it. Right? 2636 Oh, and then 2282. All right, so we were definitely over in spending. I actually have my red pen for a change. Look at me go. Um, we were definitely over budget in spending, actually by less than I thought. So I spent 330.25 in spending, which obviously is over budget, but is not as over budget as I thought it would be. Like I thought it was gonna be real bad, you guys. <laughs> so I was only over budget by about 30 bucks. So that's not bad. 206, 101, I'm making sure I got them all. Yep, so yeah. And then I did go ahead and put in $480 to my sinking funds. So let's go ahead and total that up. 340 plus 60 plus 330, 25 plus 480 means $1,210.25 was my total actual. So they're both high. I'm gonna, um, let's see, maybe I can star them. I'm gonna star them, I think, to mark that they're both, since I didn't write them in red for whatever reason, don't ask me why, because um, they're both over budget, obviously. And then for actual, so for bills and expenses, I'm just gonna carry over that amount. So it was $2,189.39. I think you guys are in frame. And then for cash and savings, it was $1,210.25. So 2039 plus 121025 puts me at, well, I would have at least needed to make 3000 $415 to cover all of that goodness. Fun fact, this is good because the overall this is under budget for me. Um, so that's great. <laughs> that's fantastic. For those of you guys who are brand new to the channel, I do not share my income. So that's why you guys see this part blank. What I do is just add up my bills and expenses and cash and savings so that you guys know that I need to make at least these amounts that are listed to be able to cover um, my bills and expenses and cash and savings for the month. So that is the monthly budget. I don't actually close out my paycheck budgets on camera because they're pretty much just me repeating my October monthly budget, just separated into two. So to avoid that, I kind of just skip that um, but I do want to go ahead and update my sinking funds with you guys. So, because a few things changed, we use money from our travel sinking fund and we use money from our fun sinking fund. So that means, luckily they're right back to back, that means these amounts are not going to be accurate as far as what's left. So if we go back to the layout my 110 grill expense was $30 and I did take that out of my fun sinking fund and here's my fun sinking fund and I spent I believe it was $30 yes I spent $30 so I should have $20 left which I do so fun is good okay so then travel was the other sinking fund I used and let's see it had 320 for starting balance. I did add 50, so it has 370, or it had 370, because I spent a total of, let's see, I have some really specific numbers in here. So I spent 1216 plus 15 plus 1962. So I should have about $46 in there. Sometimes I don't do exact change. I throw the change in my coin jar so um, I spent $46.78 so that should leave me with about $3.23 so $20.40.60.81 
305, 310, 315, 320. Okay, so yeah, I'm just about there. I think I'm supposed to have 323, but my hunch is... Oh, I think I know what I'm missing. I bought a couple things in CVS that I didn't track. I think I got like a mask for my boyfriend who forgot his mask, of course. Um, and I got... Um, I'm missing something in that sinking fund, and I think it's CVS. So I'm gonna add that sinking fund to here because we stopped at we stopped at CVS and got. Um, sorry, you guys, I'm getting my little green expense trackers. We stopped at CVS and got. I'm pretty sure maybe a mask and like oh I got a mask and lotion like a little like small container of lotion. So I'm gonna put three dollars in there which is probably about what I spent there. Because it was a tiny thing of lotion and the mask was a dollar. So I'm pretty sure that's where that came from. Whoops. I'm like, why am I missing $3? Listen, y'all. <laughs> so if that's the case, if I just take away three from that, I'm sorry, 323 minus three will put me at 320, which is, then what I have here, one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five, two, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, three, 305, 310, 315, 320, yes. Listen y'all, that's a struggle in these streets. So, I spent the 50 basically that, that I put in to travel for October. So let's go back to my sinking fund spread. So I used the 50 that I put in for October. So then that leaves me with, oh my God, you guys, the coil, $320 left for my sinking funds. Okay, so then I just need to change this. So 13.50 minus 80 means my sinking funds are now, my sinking funds are now at $1,200. I'm sorry, y'all. Right next to the coil. It's a little easier when it's closed, but when it's open like this, yeah. Okay, so that pretty much is it for October. That's what my October is looking like, friends. All right, you guys. Sorry that I had that whole confusion with the sinking fund stuff, but it happens, y'all. It happens. But that is it for October. I'm so glad I'm closing this out because it's been like on my mind. Like, you need to close, you need to close, you need to close out October. So, we have closed out October, friends. It was an expensive month. The moral of the story is your girl was over budget. <laughs> over budget in spending and I mean kind of over budget in these um, but under budget in certain categories so wins and losses with that we already knew that October was a spending month so I'm not really surprised um, I know most most of you had some spendy Octobers too so I'm feeling not alone in my struggle and I appreciate y'all <laughs> Uh, but anyways, you guys, that is it for my October budget closeout. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as it really does help support the channel. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.